I tell them just to know themselves. Just know how they work with others, know how driven they are, how motivated they are, what kind of routine they, they have, that sort of thing, just so they can be most productive when they're at work and then also most productive when they're at home with the family. Well, the first thing that I would tell someone is to um, make sure that you enjoy people and that you are willing to listen to people. Um, that's very important in this profession. Read, read a lot. Um, be very familiar with the world around you and the larger world and um, you know, be able to form an, an opinion and, um, and just be kind of aware. My morning routine always starts with a great cup of hot tea because I was told once that green tea would make you look younger, uh, but I then hit the gym. Um, that's my solace time, that's how I de-stress, and I just think it's important for work-life balance. Uh, typically, I get up early, uh, make a pot of coffee, and head to the gym, and then get that done in the morning because it seems to work. Pretty cliche, but if anybody knows me, it's my dad. I've been working with him for 20 years, uh, even before I started working you know, in this company, and we've been working together. He helped me start this. Now I get to work with my brother, so I kind of depend on him as well. Um, and pretty much we're a small company, so I, if it wasn't my dad, it's everybody else there. I mean, everybody's great. We lift each other up. I've been blessed with a lot of mentors in my life um, that are I you know actively stay in touch with, um, former bosses, just people in the community that I admire. and. Uh, I look to them for advice uh, very frequently about um, just ways to um, further my career, ways to do my job better and just be a better person. The best compliment I've ever received is that I made a difference in someone's life. I've been fortunate to be in leadership positions for many years, and I think it's important. I followed the YWCA model of lift as you climb. Um, I started at the bottom and everywhere I've worked and worked my way up, and I think it's important to mentor young people, to help them believe in themselves, and when I've seen some of them succeed and they've given me a little attaboy, it feels good to know you may have made a difference in someone's life. So I may be a little bit unorthodox about this um, because um, for me, it's about the little things. And so when I am at work and employees tell me that they appreciate my positive attitude or you know, they love to see my smiling face or they love when I laugh, uh, that's a compliment to me um, because it makes me feel that I am doing what I'm supposed to do. I feel that everyone should have a mission statement and my mission statement is to motivate and encourage people to seek their purpose, thus defining their destiny. And when I'm at work, it gives me the opportunity to do that every single day. So the one thing that I would do different is do an international exchange, whether it was in college or early in my career, to go work abroad for some period of time or, or, or take classes abroad. I would like to travel more. One thing I'd change is just the timing of when I graduated college. I came out right in the downturn, so three months later the market had crashed, the stock market had crashed, so we had to, uh, I was working for my dad at the time, so I got to see everything at its worst. But it, also that one do-over is kind of what made us where we are today. We were able to adapt and become, an, uh, have an evolution of the industry and create this new business model, which has been pretty cool. I would want somebody who could see in the future. So I always kind of try to anticipate what's going to be next so I can be prepared. Uh, it makes things go smoother when, when you understand or you anticipate what's going to happen as opposed to rushing around in the fire drill. So if somebody could see what's going to happen in the future it would help me be more prepared. If I had to come up with a superpower, I would snap my fingers and at 22 I would know all that I know now at 44. My team is an amazing team. They have superpowers, all of them. 
you know, and when they're operating in their strengths, and I mean truly operating in their strengths, they're amazing. They all each display such wonderful powers that I'm just grateful that they're on my team. And so there's not anyone that I would add that would have any more powers than what they have. They're an amazing team. I just want to give them the space to do what they do well. <laughs>